So next up, you might want to add some camera shake, and there's a really nice way you can do this. You might have seen that in Unreal 5.2, I think, they added a camera shake component. It might have been 5.0. They added, added a camera, camera shake component uh, as, as its own thing. So you can go blueprint. You can add a camera shake base. And you can uh, set its parameters, and it kind of does a camera shake, a 3D camera shake, and you can change field of view, rotation, timing, and all this. And that's really great. But the thing is, because this uh, because this media player is now being added in after the fact, none of this camera shake is actually going to carry through to your composited footage. So there's so I thought of this kind of interesting way to do a camera shake uh, instead of in 3D space, just doing it in 2D. So you can create a 2D camera shake instead of a 3D one. Uh, you can find this in the, uh, shared, in the shared project, just in Composure Effects again, and it's just another transform pass. So we can go down here, we can add this as another element, and this just takes... And here under the shake noise, none, we can just leave that as none, because if we double click in the material, uh, we can see that we've just got a texture input here for this texture sample here, and that's, that's that. And you can see that you're getting some movement in the texture here. And what it's doing is just taking this noise and it's just offsetting the whole video based on the noise, basically. Um, I've got some parameters for speed and scale, scale, the size of the noise and things like that. And the offset to the U and the V. And we've got a zoom function as well. So it's quite a cool material and it's just going into this texture sample. So we know it's a composure thingy and it's outputting the alpha again so we could just do the shake just for the alpha channel or something if we wanted to but yeah we can see that we are getting some really nice subtle shake here already and this is kind of how i would like to have it it's like pretty unnoticeable um so you can check out these values if you want to get something exactly like this um but you know we could bring the speed closer to zero to make it even more subtle you know so we're getting like we hold the mouse here getting a really small amount. If we up this scale, we can see what's going on with the uh, noise. So it's just like a displacement texture again, kind of like the rain. And we can see that it's slowly moving. But if you bring that scale really, really big, uh, each wave of that noise pattern is kind of moving the whole scene this much. So, you know, you could then uh, up the offset maybe even get a kind of glitch effect out of it um, or or up the speed to make it kind of small but intense wobbles. I like to keep it kind of subtle because these kind of effects are almost nicer when you don't even notice them, they bring it all together. Um, but that's just another example of a nice post-process material you can, uh, you can create. I just looked up how to do a camera shape material, made some edits to it, added the scaling and things like that. But yeah, here's the nodes that I used to make that if you want to recreate it. But it just shows you that uh, you can kind of get these same kind of camera shakes and things like that that don't initially work with composure. You can just tweak some materials and stuff, a bit of working out, and you can get these effects.